In today's video, we're talking about judge pro tems. What is a pro tem judge? So this is a question that we get quite frequently because people will go to court on their own and they'll see in court that there's a judge pro tem. What does that mean? Who is this person? Well, a judge pro tem is a temporary judge. That's essentially what it stands for. Judge pro tem for the time being is the actual translation. Somebody who's chosen or appointed temporarily in the absence of another judge. So sometimes a judge will just be sick, a judge will be out of their chambers because they are ill or they're in training or they are in an accident. There's a number of different reasons why a judge is not available. A pro tem temporary judge comes in. Think of it like a substitute teacher. There are a lot of them. There's almost 300 judges in Maricopa County alone, almost 300 who actually are certified to be pro tem judges. There are a couple requirements that are, is, is mandatory for a judge to be considered to be a pro tem judge. Well, number one, you gotta be 30 years old, at least 30 years old. You have to be of good moral standing, good moral character. And number three, you gotta be licensed to practice law. You gotta be licensed within, with, with it for at least five years within the state of Arizona. If you meet those requirements, it's all you need to do to become a pro tem judge. And there's almost 300 of them actually certified in Maricopa County. Other situations where we see pro tem judges, so what may happen is a judge may want to recuse himself or herself from an actual case and they may bring in a pro tem judge in order to actually go in and hear cases. The court must go on. Even though the judge is not there, they need to continue to process cases. And so they bring in pro tem judges to do that. Typically, it's nothing to be too worried about or too concerned about. You may want to speak to your lawyer. We know a lot of the pro tem judges. We know them because we practice law so much. But sometimes people will think, well, it's a major advantage that I have a pro tem judge or it's a major disadvantage because I have a pro tem judge. It depends. It depends on the judge and it depends on who they're replacing. If you have an excellent judge and you bring in a pro tem judge, well, you don't know what you're getting because you know, but you know it could potentially be a lot worse because you like the judge who's ordinarily on the bench. Vice versa, sometimes you have a judge that a pro tem judge is very welcome. We love to slot a pro tem in there just because of the history with that particular judge. That's why it's important to speak with your attorney about these things. If you're charged with a crime in Arizona, there's a 180 different criminal courts in Arizona. So there's a lot that goes on, a lot of moving parts. A lot of the advantages come in from knowing the court, knowing the prosecutors, and knowing the judges, including the pro tem judges. So if you want to speak with our team about it, if you have some questions about who's going to be hearing your case and how it's going to work, give our office a call. We offer free case evaluations. We'll tell you about your judge. We'll tell you about your case. We'll tell you about your court. See if there's anything that we can do to help. It's a free case evaluation, literally nothing to lose. So give us a call. We look forward to speaking with you soon. And thanks for watching.